Carlos, good evening. Um, if you could just tell us here, you know, like what, what have you been seeing, you know, and, and what's been your experience in terms of knocking on doors um, and talking to folks? Yeah, well, of course, with the new FM, we try to emphasize communities that, it, that are the most need. And so today, of course, we were uh, part of relief efforts that we have all over the city and for Lauderdale. Uh, and, and, and yeah, so you come to really, frankly, shocking uh, conditions. Uh, of course, after Irma happened, you would expect there to be some, some degree of disorganization, but uh, but after being in some neighborhoods today in Hollywood, especially the neighborhood of Liberia, uh, you find residents, uh, you find taxpayers of the city uh, neglected in such a way that, that after you see their conditions, uh, you can only call it shocking. Um, and, and, and again, it's a, it's, it is a neglect that is shocking because you also see the city talking about that they have a dynamic way of prioritizing areas that are supposed to receive attention from the repair crews. Uh, and, and, the, and, and all of this is based, of course, in importance and in most need. And, 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 and when you talk about importance and most need, especially the people that we saw today, uh, those conditions should not be happen in the city and, and, and it is an outrage frankly uh, and I would invite all city officials to, to venture to, to come and look at this part of the cities and, and the neglect that we see. Uh, meanwhile of course uh, you have different areas of the city that are a little bit more affluent uh, getting power back on and, and of course this is happening because better constructions or newer constructions but again uh, the neglect of some of these areas are frankly shocking and, and, and it shouldn't be happening in, in, in a city in America and we should highlight it and and, and yeah, it is it is a little little crazy I have to say. Carlos, you know, I think you know for people who might not be in Florida and might not have an idea of of you know of the situation, you know, you know, this is not, you know, you know, in some places around the country we're entering fall, um, but it's still very hot here in Florida, right? I mean tell me, I mean how is it in terms of Knocking on doors. What are the conditions? Um, and, and especially, you know, when it comes to the people that you're meeting, um, are they young? Are they old? I mean, what who are, who are the folks that we are especially worried about um, as the temperatures rise? Yeah. So, so you were just frankly going to the neighborhood, encountering whoever we we would encounter, and and what you end up encountering is if you know people of modest means, uh, elderly people. Most of them have walkers, a little bit disabled. And, and again, you have to emphasize the the, the type of neglect that, that that is being imposed on them because uh, these are these are people of modest means. These are also people of color. Uh, of course, we know the history uh, of this area in the city, uh, having of course cities uh, streets named after generals. Uh, you know, uh, such as, for example, Nathan Belfort Forrest, the first Grand Wizard of the KKK. Uh, these are some of the symbols that cause this city. And it is yeah, some type of vicious, poetic irony that, that not only do you have these symbols, but also have concrete, tangible neglect uh, of these communities. And, and again, yeah, mostly older people, uh, you know, a little disabled, and frankly, with no power, with no AC, of course, no food, no water, and of course, with the city saying that it's doing the most that it can, prioritizing based on need and most importance. That's what is most shocking. I would say that these these are the very people that are most in need and are most important to be emphasizing and centering. And so, so these are some of the people that that we encounter today uh, throughout the area of Liberia and especially in some of the streets um, uh, in 23rd Avenue and Forest and Douglas Street, uh, which we canvas today. Uh, it's a little, I mean, it's really sad, but, but, but it's also kind of, it makes you a little angry as well. And it makes you, you know, makes your, ball, your blood boil. And, 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 and yeah, so I was really upset about this. And, and what we were doing with the new FM was that we were bringing you know, some degree of nourishment, some hot meals, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, a little bit of water. We're bringing them in to, to some of these residents because, of course, uh, we know the cities are doing this, uh, and, and many other groups are doing this as well. Uh, but we, it was just the, the contrast, the uh, priorities of the city, 
Yeah, I really just choking. And and you see it in real life when you see you knock on a door and you see this little old lady on a walker, face, you know, full of perspiration. She's like praying that you're coming in and 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 being really grateful. And and in my in my heart, I feel really indignant indignant that 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 the city is, is, is allowing this to happen and, and not prioritizing the people that should be prioritized. And so, but I'm really hopeful that we, we are going to continue to do this, these operations throughout this week and we are, continue, we are going to continue to highlight especially the dire needs of these people because, of course, what could very easily happen is, is that some of these people could, could pass away, right? And of course, when something like that happens, then you get the resources, then you get the prioritization. But I don't think the city should wait for that. Not that that could happen, but that may happen, you know. So, well, we're not so going to, yeah, you know, really. we're, 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 you know, obviously at New Florida Majority, I mean, we're not just knocking on doors. Obviously, we're letting people know about this. We're letting, you know, until our city officials know about this stuff. And, and we'll be out, you know, we'll be out there. Um, you know, we were there, we were in these communities before. Um, we're here during um, the storm, and we'll be here after um, in terms of helping people um, not just, uh, you know, survive this storm, but also rebuild and rebuild strongly. Rebuild.